seventh position. Looking to make it sixth, but we've got a driver ahead. When George Russell, who's got the DRS, so Harry to defend. Oh, massive accident. Oh, and rolling over, horrible crash. Thankfully, he's landed the right way up. And that is truly spectacular. And then into the gravel that sent him over. You can see the hands off the steering wheel at that point. That is a violent, violent crash. And see the camera ripped off the top of the car, the floor cracked. So this is on board and it's going to be a massive hit for Lorandi. There is Bockel actually heading through and it cost Lorandi one position with a good start for Alban. Mainly knows it. He's gone super defensive. It might not be enough. And Alban is immediately up into the lead with the inside line, crucially for turn one. Leclerc going to try and. Oh, huge smash in the background there. It's a Yenza that's flipping over. Oh, huge and horrible accident to see. Contact at the background there. An immediate safety car. And terrific to see. Akash Nandi out of the car because he was rolling there dramatically and you see what is left of his Jenza car to the racing line trying to fight it. Now watch in the background there so you see already tagged Nandi in to the barriers and flipping over dramatically but as he came into frame there he had already lost the rear wheel not expecting many to take the line and it's so easy to do. Incredible pictures, these, as you see the safety of the new GP316 Dallara built car, hands off the steering wheel, and hoping it would end. Just 20 minutes ago, something pretty dramatic happened in GP3. This is Konstantin Tarashenko. Look at that, Anthony. My yeah. goodness. It brings back memories for me at Le Mans in, uh, two years ago. Wow. But uh, you see what happened there. It was the, um, the sausage curb on the inside of uh, turn 18 that actually launched the car. And uh, the FIA, Charlie Whiting in particular, would be very concerned by that because that could easily be a Formula 1 in that situation and obviously travelling at much higher speed. So glad to see him get out of the car and that he's in one piece. But, uh, wow, that was, uh, that was a big one. Пытался здесь пройти Дзанзини со Сильву. В итоге со Сильву был внутри. И вот еще один контакт был. И в итоге, ух, переворот. Переворот здесь был у Эммануэля Дзанзини. Кто там был еще из Карлинов? Это был Эрик Лихтенштейн. Машина под номером 9. Он также вот немножко принял участие в этой аварии. В целом у Карлина фактически в этом сезоне единственная надежда это Ник Евли. Но и он в этой гонке идет только лишь 17-м. Очень страшная ситуация, но, к счастью, здесь пошли мы еще колесами. And he's gone up and over and uh, is upside down. That is Fuminelli, I think. So here we are coming through. Uh, yeah, the last part of Beckett. Oh, and he's and he's just misjudged from behind the speed of uh, of, of Fuminelli, Fuminelli. Uh, as as he comes through uh, the right hander of Beckett and then they're tangled. Uh, and uh, such is the way they're tangled that actually the the forward rotation of uh, of Fuminelli's rear tyres has fired Cuyale into the air. Uh, reminiscent slightly of Connor Daly's shunt, actually, very last much year so. in Monaco. But yeah, as you see, the, the rear tyre catches the underfloor of the car. Tidy into the first turn, stocking as Captain leads. Oh no, and a big spin and over the top. Into the first corner. Somebody was uh, tipped into the barriers there, and I can't quite see who it was. Alex Brundle tipped them in. I think that might be Alice Powell. And that's great, Buller's getting out, so uh, Buller's all right. And the crowd uh, cheer and clap. Let's have a look at what happened. Yeah, well, it's essentially just a case of three into two won't go. Powell was on the inside. Brundle was in the middle. Buller turned in. There was contact between Powell and Brundle. 
as they all got squeezed. Marlon Stockinger, eli tuo Stockingerin keskeytys, niin se on tässä nyt sitten, siellä on Matias, oi oi oi. No kyllähän tänään nyt autoa kaatuu, se oli jo toinen auto, joka menee nutulle tänään kohtuullisen harmittomasti, mutta turva tulee radalle ja näin vedetään letka sitten kasaan. Yllättävän hyvin tämä tästä lähti liikkeelle, se oli kuitenkin sen verran kohtuullisen paljon ja heti sitten sattuu ja tapahtuu. Louis Williamson tässä siis pyörii ja Louis Williamson, joka ajoi aikaa jossa itse asiassa kolmanteen lähtöruutuun, on nyt ulkona pelistä. 21-vuotias brittikuljettaja ajoi viime vuonna Formula Renaultien Britannian sarjaa. That was a thing. Look at this. He's like, concentrate on your driving, Mirko, rather than on waving at people. And you might know a little bit better. I was thinking he's really funny. Oh, somebody else up there. That, I think Christensen was causing a huge problem there, returning back to the pits with no rear wing. And we saw that Varhaag and Bortolotti got caught up in that. And then I did see Christensen on the exit of that corner. So I think, again, Christensen was in the way. Oh no, diff, different. No, Chris, that's oh, that's all the way over. Yeah. Pedro Nunes in the Art Grand Prix kind of still can't quite see who that was that was. Oh, that's Nunes. And who what was it that he made contact with that was, I think, what was that? I think it was one of the Tech One cars.